Hello everybody and welcome back to Danny and Sons Real Tech Mod Pack. So today I think we wanted to do some um, magnetic craft, make a steam generator. I think we can do that. I was checking some recipes and it's interesting. But before I do that, of course, there's a few more bits and pieces. You see here behind me I've got some pollution, some sulfur emissions, and we can get rid of those. Now here's a, a stone vent and the recipe for vents, oddly enough, is a bit of a strange one. Well. You see, I put them in here, and I've got my, no more pollution in this room, which is great, so you can get them out. What you can do is you can use that. Actually, I can use granite. Now, granite's are supposed to be equivalent to stone, and it makes these stone chimneys. And then with the stone chimneys, if you put four in a corner like this, you'll get some vents. Well, I've made some vents, already got plenty of those. And you can then use those as a way to get them out. And this one is a stone pump, and the recipe for this is it's basically the same block of coal, not a problem actually as it happens because we've got plenty of coal and some redstone repeaters well we've got redstone and uh, we've got some sticks so we could easily make the repeaters there's nothing special just a bit of stone on those and what's have a look at the recipe for that one. Oh, and also from a tip from creator aid i've basically decided to enable my mouse pointer so hopefully you can see it now so as you see it's a very straightforward recipes for that one i actually used this recipe with three redstone and I was also upgrading this pick, so now I've got luck to on it. Basically, I did lots and lots of uh, lapis to it, and that makes a difference. So if you look at, for example, I didn't show you this last time. But if you look at cinnabar, for instance, and you look at the uh, recipe for cinnabar, I think the one we want is the generation of it. You see, it's got here it says four drops, drops four. But if you hold down your mouse over it, you get to. Um, the fortune bit, so a fortune 2 pickaxe will give me 5.5 on average and if I can get it up another layer it'll give me, it'll give me um, more. It actually says normal 4 so that's interesting and I actually get quite a lot of that. The same with lapis of course. Let's look at the lapis one to get 6 up to fortune 3, 13. I'm sure I've actually got about 13 at least in once or twice when I was doing it and of course I also get 4 but uh, so that was that. Fortunately, it doesn't shoot. You can't see the same thing on redstone, or it's a shame it doesn't give you world generation to see what the differences are. So I suspect that's probably the best way to go for doing that rather than try to make complicated machines to improve the grinding of that. Well, I will do, of course, because we've got to. The other thing about magnetic craft, I've, um, what I'd like to look at was actually the hammers. And we see we've got these three hammers. We've got the stone hammer doesn't last very long at all. Then we've got an iron hammer which doesn't last very long but it shouldn't really last a bit longer than it does. And then the next one up is a steel hammer. So we need four steel ingots. So we've got immersive craft and we've got magnetic craft. I go, oh magnetic craft, I wonder how they make that. So I looked through the recipes here. We've got, okay we can make it from nuggets. Magnetic craft nuggets we get from an ingot. Brilliant. It doesn't help at all. Obviously immersive engineering ones are completely different. Or a block. Well, I don't care about the blocks because that's just basically nine ingots, isn't it? And then we can smelt. So we can smelt magnetic cross steel dust. So let's have a look at how we get that. So we can grind an ingot. Brilliant. So <laughs> basically, you have to go, if you want the steel, it's got to be through the immersive engineering route, I guess. And the other thing, let's have a look at what I've got in my inventory here. Let's get rid of this. Ooh, it's night time already and that reminds me I'm going to build a clock because I'm always forgetting the time and sleeping at night is definitely the best way of getting your hearts back and you put a oh by the way you put a redstone lever on here and it pumps all of the pollution out so let's get rid of this pollution here so I've basically got these vents and I should be able to simply put them like this then come along here and put a chimney up here we we'll probably put one up here like that and the one here and then we need a pump. We put a pump here. And then we just put a lever on the pump, which I got prepared as well. Of course, we're very good today because it was a long weekend. So I pumped the turn this on. That should simply disappear. Hopefully, that'll disappear. If it doesn't, I just put another vent in its place here. Let's do that. Where are the vents gone to here? I think it does, di does do diagonal, but maybe not in this case. Let's put it there. Boom. It's gone. And it should have gone out. There it goes. Look. It goes out of the chimney. So that's how you can get rid of the pollution. In fact, in that case, I should move this along. I'll do that off camera. 
So the next thing I want to do is make a clock, don't I? Let's go and have a look. I think I've got all my ingots in the last one here. I've been busy preparing for the materials, as you can see. So we need four of them, and we need a redstone. Let's get rid of the lead ingots and iron ingots. Oh, full up already. I'm going to have to turn those into plates. What have we got here? Seared bricks and tungsten ingots. Now, tungsten ingots, I haven't yet shown you how to get those. Um, I shall leave the seared bricks in there. Tungsten ingots are actually made by this material over here. Oh, I've got the redstone here, haven't I? So this wolframite ore, what we have to do for the wolframite is we have to take it, we're going to have to hammer it. Now I don't have a hammer there, do I? Do I have a hammer somewhere else? I'm looking for my hammer. I did find some more maple syrup and I made some more seeds. Oh yes, there's my iron hammer. I need the iron hammer. You can't use a stone hammer on this one, it breaks. It doesn't look to the break, it doesn't work. Actually, I've got a stone hammer here, let's get that one off there. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Oops, <laughs> that's not going to do any good, is it? Let's put that out of the way. Take it off. So, if we use a stone hammer on this one, let's put it down. And you right click, doesn't do anything. You have, to, you have to use an iron hammer to do this one. So, you can right click this. And that gives us these rocky. I don't know what they call that. Is it Rocky, Rocky Wolf of Might or? Oh, Tungsten Rocky Chunk. So, of course, with Tungsten Rocky Chunk, we put those in the sluice box. Let's have a look. What have I got on me? Let's just sort my inventory a bit so we see anything that I get other than that. We should get iron, actually. I think there's a chance of getting iron. And I moved a water supply over here. But in wintertime, this bit freezes up. <laughs> Doesn't help me very much. Let's put the water in there. But the one at the back didn't under the tree didn't freeze up. So what do we get? So we got two iron dust, which isn't too bad, and some tungsten chunks which we can then smelt. So let's go and smelt those. That's each six, isn't it? Oops. That's a bit of a waste if I put them in there. Uh -huh. We'll do it anyway. So one piece of iron and we'll put the two dust in there and that'll come out. I'm standing out of the way because I don't want the effect of the heat. As you can see, if we go anywhere near this, we'll get a heat increase of 12 from nearby blocks, which is great when you're in the winter time, but at the same time, which is coming up to, I think, let's kind of look at this clock here. I think this, this red bit here with green is supposed to be spring, and the yellow with blue is supposed to be summer. So we're in late, late spring now, which means it's going to get very hot soon. So let's just take, so I explained that lapis I was doing, the lapis, bandages and band-aids. I've got those for mod drops, blocks of tin we're going to come to, sugar, purified water and uh, a fruit, certain fruits anyway, will make an apple juice. And the apple juice will refill your water supply a lot. Let's just make a clock, shall we, before I do anything else, because I really do need to know what time of day it is at midday. Does that actually tie on with the clock here? Not really. <laughs> I don't think it's tying in. I think that says midday. And this clock on my thing here says 4, 13 and 9. And it's midday, look at that. And all that pollution at the top there, I don't like that very much. So one thing we can do for this pollution is to use uh, leaf blocks, I believe. And I've got some leaf blocks somewhere. I might have taken them out my inventors are getting a bit full. In fact, I think I put the leaf blocks in this backpack. Yeah, I've got eight over here. Oh, and I've got a stone as well from this. Uh, and I also have upgraded this here. I have to get this out of my hand. I've got space just about. Let's just... <laughs> it's getting a bit full. I uh, put an emerald upgrade in there. I've got a few emeralds. And I thought, well, I suppose cobblestone is useful. I don't know how I'm going to transport this. I've got a new base coming over. Uh, a new base place which is over here. Let's look on the journey map to start with. So this is where we are at the moment. And I'm thinking of the new base as being should be marked. Actually, I probably turned it off. No I haven't. Where has it gone to? Oh Maybe I have done it off. Let's have a look at the waypoints. It's about. Let's 
well over about 1100 blocks away and it's hard to see of course probably the easiest way to do this is sort it by name I'm sorting it by distance at the moment let's go down a little bit more I think there it is 11.30 and it is on ok where is it it's basically oh there it is look and it's in this one here and you can see the new new base here and around that we've got jungle so just above here is this jungle hills and lots of jungle over here and this this bit is actually plains so that's so that's the plus one biome here's taiga which i pronounced tiger last time so that's a minus one so that you can move around a bit and this is also taiga so you can go in there that's cold and then just below it we've got extreme hills which is about as cold a biome as you can get i think it's about minus seven jungles plus seven and desert is plus ten so desert's good in the winter time to go to and um extreme hills is good in the summer time about the only time you can go there without without the devices so that's that where is it which direction is it i think it's over there yeah so i'll take a visit there because i want to go and plant some more stuff i haven't done much i've done a little bit of preparation but not much anyway so let's see if we can do this magnetic craft the other thing i'm thinking about doing very soon is some possibly food stuff because i'm looking at my food here and it's staying reasonable so it's not going down but it's not very high so i suspect that some of the food doesn't give you va food values but if you have a for example look at some foods i have i got any on me hey, yes i have this one actually says we've got protein nutrients protein too and this one is basically just an, a drink so that gives you liquid and a bucket of milk will give us dairy and so on and so forth now blocks of tin here from forestry what i was going to do with that is this let's have a look what have i got on my settings in here i've got magnetic craft i think this is all magnetic craft let's have a look up oh, steam boiler so i want i've got enough ingredients for what i need to make let's have a look so we need a copper coil so so basically a copper coil is this thing here copper coil machine block small cup of we've got to make these things so we're going to make some of those so we need 12 iron uh, 12 copper and we need three and one iron plate so i'll do that in a minute i think so where was i i need to clean up my inventory a little bit before i start doing any of this we'll get rid of the these we don't need those anymore i've shown you those they're pretty good for getting rid of pollution and i wanted to put these grass uh, these leaf blocks up didn't i Okay, let's just do that. I'll take a, some cobblestone with me. What seven will do? We'll just climb up here and we'll put it on the roof. I can't get up from the. I can't get up here. Just can't quite make it. It's just one block too little. I need to draw. <laughs> I didn't want to do that either. So let's do that. Let's put a block up there. Then we should be able to climb up, get onto this block, and then get onto the roof. Whew. So what I could do with this now is to put on here on only these chimneys and this is the one from the furnace so let's go and put on here some leaf blocks so if i put up say that's two blocks that and then put some leaf blocks on top of that i've got eight now that should trap i'm gonna have to go around here a bit and maybe uh i'm not gonna do this it's gonna be a bit awkward I wanted to put one on the other side so if I go up one more block and I can't I've got some more we'll use that I want to put I just want to put a block of leaf block bit on the other side of this and maybe another one on top and what this should do is it should capture the pollution from the chimney and the leaf blocks will just will just uh, disintegrate over time at the same time it will remove that so I'll put another one there like that so I expect this one's the one that's going to go first. I can always refill it afterwards. Let's just take this pick. Can I do that? Go down another one. And I should be able to put the last leaf block here like that. And we should be able to, then re able to remove this stuff because we don't want the furnace to blow up. They do blow up, by the way. And it's getting towards night time. So we should be able to sleep here. For a few seconds. 
And yeah, I got my health point back again. So let's go down here on this one. Unless we can climb on this. Good. Whew. <laughs> I didn't want to lose an another half a heart. But they are hard. It does make the rough tweaks of the mod pack that, that is the mod for that that makes it really quite difficult as it happens. It's surprisingly difficult. The other thing I was going to have a look at, and it might be worth doing this. At the moment, I'm wearing some iron armor. I've got a duplicate from some bug or other, and I've got another set of iron armor in here. Now, where is it? Might not even be here, it might be in the other base as it happens. I have taken some stuff with me. Yeah, and I think what I can do is I could smelt full armor. I'm not 100% sure about this. I'll tell you what we'll do, we can quickly make some. I've got enough iron. I can quickly can make some boots, can't I? Oh, I yes, I have done that good. Could quickly make some boots and see if I can smelt the boots. That's probably the cheapest way. I'll put these into the into here. Can we smelt these? Yes, we can. So we'll get our iron back again, which is also good. Now, why is that of interest? Let's have a look at this mod pack here. This, um, I think it's Construct Armory. Like this, so you've got this construct armor, so you can make different leggings from different materials, and you have different types of. Sh let's let press shift for stats. So you get defense here, of, for example, press marine helmets of 18.8. .8. That's pretty high, actually. Durability is not that high, and you get different ones of these now. Paper helmet, oh, I'm not have much defense. A sponge helmet, not really interested in these type of things, but maybe an iron helmet would be interesting. So this has actually got a defense of 15 and durability of 200. So iron's not bad. So it does have some patterns as well. So I think we have to find a pattern for that. And then you get these resistance things. So you get resistance modifiers, fire resistance, projectile resistance, and blast resistance. Which I think I might well be looking at doing these. <laughs> I will be honest with you. Obsidian. A, a plate of some description, I guess. And some bricks. Actually, I want to make some bricks. Let's do some bricks. How much clay have I got in here? Or 200 hours. That's good. Let's shove that into there. That's the one with the sticks. Let's just put that into here like this. So remove those and shove that in there. Get some bricks made while we're thinking about it some more pollution hopefully we'll capture that pollution now oh you see they've already disappeared ah because i didn't put any wood there ah okay i needed to put a block of wood never mind i'll do that off camera again so let's see if we can actually make some of this tinker's armory helmet stuff so we need the stencil table and i believe that we can do this look here that here are the patterns down here this one is a helmet pattern and the cost is four also, the, this one has a chest plate, and the cost of that is six. And normally, a chest plate costs what eight metal, eight iron to do that, doesn't it? Oh, we need some gold, don't I? Let's get two gold. I need to make these into casts. We have enough gold to do that. I forget the right window. So, two of those will do that. And this thing can take four, eight. So we got it's, it's got a capacity of eight. So let's actually let's get four of those and put four in. If I was bringing for shit doing like this, wouldn't I? Let's shove those into that like that. Then we can actually put these down. This is pod so it's spreading. And so is the so is the grass. Actually I'm not sure I've got so many flowers. Probably because of the butterflies as it happens. Just run with these. So, if, with a bit of luck, should we should have, oops, yeah, we've got some molten gold already. How many have you got? One in good, good. Now, it's not getting thrown out in this case, so I need to make, uh, first of course, I need to make a stencil, don't I? Let's put this, let's put those into the patent chest. Where's the other one? Did I not make the stencil for the chest plate? I didn't, did I? Let's do that as well. 
In fact, we might as well make the stencil for the leggings and the boots. And I'm not sure what these are. Armour plate patterns. I think these might be necessary too. What's this one? A trim pattern. Oh, we've got some. Let's put these into here. They ain't going to hurt. They're only one. There's only one stencil, and stencils are dead cheap. And this one. A polishing kit. I guess that's a repair kit for this stuff. And the rest of that is all not armour's construct. I'm not really intending to do armour's construct today, but I would like to make a helmet. Let's see if we can have taken my hand. So there's a stone helmet cast which is what we need so we'll put this down here like that. The usual stuff for Tinker's Construct let's check what we've got and it's gold to the bottom good and we'll put right click that and then we should get a helmet cast for that one and then we need the chest plate I think we've only got one stone but we need a six of those but cobblestone is not exactly in short supply. So we've got a stone one of those. So let's take the helmet out of here. Oops, that fell on the floor. Put the that one. Now I do have a stencil tape. Oh, but I'll keep this in our hand as it happens. Let's swap it over with that one. And then we should be able to right click that and get an iron helmet. So let's, while that's doing that, let's put this away. I created a second pattern chest. Oh, good. Yeah. You can right click that and it goes into there. So now we have an iron helmet. Let's put this away as well. That would go into the parts chest, I guess. Can we work, can we put this on? No, we can't, can we? So I've got to do something else with this. <laughs> and I'm not sure what I've got to do. So I will have to look that up next time. So I suspect it's not going to be any cheaper than the other one. But we could put this into the pattern chest here can't wait the parts just good so we can do that another day and I picked up some more seeds and other junk I need to get rid of those now oh, okay that didn't work out as well as I wanted it to did it anyway let's start making this stuff for, um, have I got everything in here yes I have let's start making this stuff that we need for the steam boiler so we need two light lead plates and three of these things so what are we missing copper so we need 12 copper i think this is actually the only time i do need copper so i'm, I'm control clicking this off by the way and that's that was a tip i got in the last series which is one always worthwhile remembering and four plates so i think it's just a yeah that should make three of those things and they do stay that's nice lead plates i guess that's the same as the other ones where's the lead is it four we need double check that no just two and i won't use the iron hammer i'll put the iron hammer shall put the iron hammer on that rack up here and we can use the stone one to make plates it's a lot cheaper and the one thing I have got to watch is, is fluid as it happens. One of the things that nearly killed me was lack of water. Something else that nearly killed me was um, darkness. I forgot there's darkness in this pack. You can't see a thing at night. You just can't see a single thing. Right. So we should have two plates now. Good. So we should be able to make this thing. So we've got our first machine block for that machine let's have a look i haven't actually looked at the recipe for you with you yet but we need to go can we go back on this one no we can't we need to go back to machines generator steam engine so we need a combustion engine and this multi-block thing so we've got the blueprint already made and then we've got a couple of machine blocks that we've done so we now need two support columns let's make those two support columns i think they're fairly straightforward that's this one so we need some other plates and ingots and some stone so we need six more plates where's it, where's it gone to in fact we'll put the redstone in here can't I oops try again 
lead. Lead down there and let's hammer it with hammer. It's quite good, this doesn't take too long. The mechanics are fun. So, uh, where's that thing that we should be able to? We're missing two iron and one stone. Okay, no big deal. Let's go and get that. Two iron and one stone. And it's night time. <laughs> well, I should be able to get my last. I want to go to sleep because I don't want them attacking the villages. One of my villages I've traded with has already been zombie eye. <laughs> Yeah, it was, became a zombie village, I had to kill him. Um, shame, never mind, that's such is life, so to speak. So those are the two support columns. In fact, what we probably can do is put those into the into the pattern. Have I got the pattern laid out over there still? No, I don't think I have. I think I moved it inside here. I'm only going to, I'm going to do this and we're going to move, I'm going to move things off camera because I don't see any point in having because it's going to take a long time to do that isn't it so basically if we take this blueprint here you know what I should do? put the clock in my offhand I wonder if it makes sense to do that like this so we should be able to put the copper coil and you can see it's here can I do that how do I get this thing into place <laughs> no it doesn't look like the right place does it? It looks like it's one too far. Pickaxe I guess will break it. Yep. I see. It must be this block. Good. That looks that looks sensible. And then this must be a column. Let's put these two columns down here, support columns. Where's the other support column? Doesn't look like a support column to me. Ah, oh, there it is, look. Ah, so it's on top of these bricks. So we should have by now some bricks ready. So we can get these two sets of bricks. We need two, oops, it's gonna get hot here, aren't I? Let's take those out of there. In fact, we can craft these on ourselves. So we need, I think we need two of these. No, we need three. I've written all I've written everything down that I need anyway for this so it shouldn't be too difficult. Ah yes we can see we need three look here. So the next column must be here. That looks like a column, doesn't it? It's got that pattern on it. Then it's got six, let's have a look at this book again seven iron grates so let's make the seven iron grates quite fun this actually i'm not sure what we need for the iron grates let's hold up this one oh yes i do know iron bars let's make let's give us 16 that'll be plenty which is actually good because that also gives us a, we need one of those for template bars and what was it a stone so we need two pieces of stone because we need seven of those I don't really like crafting on camera I will be honest with you because I think it's a waste of time but this one's slightly different there are some things that make sense to craft and some things that don't and I think this is probably one of the ones that does make sense to craft so we need how many of these do we need six huh yeah it said seven, didn't it? Step back, I'm too close. Oh, okay, so these must be... Where are those? Are they underneath it? Doesn't make complete sense. I don't see how that works. <laughs> I think it's probably underneath it, isn't it? Yeah, I reckon that's underneath. Yeah, indeed it is. Mm. 
whether I have to put everything up there or not, I'm not sure now. Anyway, that's the seven of those. So, I think if you right click this thing, it tells you what you're missing. It should do. Oh, yeah. What does it say? Invalid block. Not found. Found uh, expected corrugated. Okay. So that must be this one. So we need to make this corrugated iron block. So let's have a look for corrugated, or maybe iron will probably help. Corrugated iron. So we just need eight pieces of iron. Enter plates. We've got two, so we need six more. I'm actually not crafting anything more than I need at the moment because I've got to transport to possibly to the new base. And if I do that, there's no point. And my inventory is full as usual. My inventory management's just appalling. So let's have a look at this. But I'm not sure I don't like this invalid block at 365. Oh, maybe yeah. Because the mark is your feet, by the way, if you haven't figured it out. So let's put this down here. Um, yes, I didn't craft it, did I? Well, I can craft that. I can craft that in, we can craft that indoors. A crafting table, I don't have to go all the way back. And in fact, while I'm here, let's take that out of here as well. Valid block found air. Expected iron great machine block. And that looks like okay. I thought we only needed seven of these. Where did it gone to? Did I put that away? Oh, I left it on. I've seen that somewhere. I must have got something wrong on this. Well, I put it there. There we are. there expected machine block found air oh have we not made a machine block yet I don't think we have have we oh they're on top look hard to see sometimes so we need a machine block let's have a look what that's in the book let's just check this book actually because I want to check uh, three machine blocks we need three machine blocks and the rest I think we've already got, haven't we? So machine blocks. I'm not sure what the recipe for those is. Let's have a look. Machine block. Three lead, three iron. This is one I, did. I missed this one out. Lead ingots, iron, light iron plates, two copper nuggets. Fortunately, there's nothing we can't do. So we need two lead three iron, five lead, and another five iron, so that's eight iron, five lead, and three copper or something, four, five copper I think, so can we do that, five copper, we need to convert one of those, it was eight iron wasn't it, and some lead, this is going to be a problem. <laughs> he says, this is definitely going to be a problem. Let's just get rid of some of this stuff. Anything I can, basically. I was going to plant those by this. Oh, no. I thought I did. Okay, get rid of those. Let's get rid of that. Can I get rid of anything else in here? I'm just mousing over. I'll get rid of the dirt. Don't need the dirt. And it's already getting towards night time. So we need to make some iron plates. I'll have to go and check exactly how many because I didn't remember. But we need three of these things. Oh, we need three of these things, don't we? So I think it's time to have a sleep. No, it's not night time yet. 
but it must be very close to being night time. <laughs> right, that's while we're waiting for let's just figure out that, what we need for that one. Because so I need three machine blocks, don't I? And I need three motors. I haven't I've miscounted this badly. So we need at least, in this case, we need one iron plate for that. So that's three. So that's four. That's three times three is nine. We'll do nine iron plates and then we'll have a sleep. And I think I've only got four here. Oh yeah, I haven't got enough iron. Frustrations. Let's get the other. Right, let's take half of this and put that down in that one. So we need eight of these, don't we? So I've got to count this. Now probably the best way to count this is to use the stone hammer. Did it break? I think, oh no, it's here. And then we can count those up. Now it looks like it's night time, but eight. So I've done it like this and you can see the eight coming in here. And then it's time to have a sleep. In fact, probably the easiest way to do this is just put the bed down here like this. No space for sleeping bag, must be. Tell you what, I ain't gonna work, we'll go in the bed. I hope I can finish this machine in this episode. It's, it's running on a bit already. Um, I haven't even started the other bits in it yet, so look. So we needed, let's do that one first of all. We need three motors, don't we? So we, we've got the plates. What do we, what are we missing in here? These. Copper, I haven't got enough of copper yet. So we need another three of those, don't we? So we need another eight copper. Got one in here. That'll do for that. And that'll give us exactly the right amount. So I can shift click that one off again and then do recipe for that and click it in. We should get two more. Oh, I'm missing one piece of copper. Actually, I'm missing two pieces of copper because I need to make some nuggets. I'll do that again. And we need some redstone. And I think I've got redstone in here. Five's probably enough. In fact, I've got some iron bars. We don't need those. To on this at the moment, do we? Can put those into there. So hopefully we can make this mode turn now. I just missed to click that, didn't I? Got two motors because I brought them missing. Redstone, I'm not missing redstone. Iron plates. I'm missing one iron plate and one ingot. See one on plate. Oh, how did I miscount that? I'm sure you spotted it. Well, I'm missing uh, two lead ingots, and I've only got one. If you count it wrong, you count it wrong, and that's it. You can't. Don't seem to. I can shift click this and actually go to the right place. So three, 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 three. Oh, that makes two each time. Ah, oh, I'm being stupid. So we need two sets of this. Never mind. I'm sure we won't miss out on the other bits and pieces. Okay, good. So that's three of those. We just need then. Uh, oh, it makes four. Ah, oh, that's a lot better. So we just need three lead plates. I've got motors that I don't really need, but. I missed it again. So, right click that on there, like that. And I thought it was a bit expensive thinking about it. I was going, it was a bit expensive that one. So, let's just pick up that one. I'm missing one iron plate. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Uh, there's probably about well, enough one hit on I guess on this hammer and it'll break. And it broke before I even got uh, before we even made the plate let's go. We need four we need two sticks and we need four pieces of stone cobble. That 
make another hammer and I think the pattern is two in a row and then as it go four like that Now I should be able to make that. I should be able to make these machine structures now. Good. But of course we've got to make some more bits and pieces. So invalid brought 366, 350. So 300. It must be here. It's got air, so and I think the other one's there, and the third one may be here, and the light's gone off. I do have to click it. Oh, you're right. Click it, and it turns into a, a little generator. <laughs> wow, that's freaking awesome! <laughs> so how do we fit this? Get this thing going now. So we need to make a. I've got here one block extra. Yeah, that makes sense. I didn't expect. Get rid of that one, because <laughs> there were seven. Oh wow, so we need to feed this with steam and this will be the power output. It looks like in most of engineering, doesn't it? So we'll have to feed this with steam. So we need to make a steam boiler and a steam combustion chamber. Well, if you're enjoying this, it'll stay with me because I think I'm going to see if I can finish this. So we need a boiler. That one. So we need eight pieces of iron, two iron plates. We've got enough iron in there, so I'll just put on. So we just count to 13 when we hammer this. That'll do. Oh, that was nice. Timed, well timed. So we can do the boiler. I don't need this machine, but let's come put. I'm just going to put the stuff that we don't need away because it's only filling up my inventory. Just about manage it. I got these engines, motors in here which just didn't need to make. Would have had one anyway because it made them in two, didn't it? And then we need the um, combustion chamber. So we need one more plate and some bricks. And I think I've got enough bricks. Yes, we have. Good. Because real resources are short, the ones are best to use are the ones which are renewable. So, so now we've got our combustion chamber, and the renewable resources are. I'm about to need more of those. We're going to go and do more magnetic craft. Things like wood. I think it's probably the one. So we will probably put the boiler down here. I guess. Hopefully, I don't know whether it needs pipes. Will that work? That is the question. So anyway, if it works, all we have to do is put some coal in here. Let's go and put some, got some charcoal. Oh, charcoal! There's some charcoal in there that goes up 20 seconds, and then it should produce heat. But this will need water, won't it? And I haven't given it any water yet. Let's give it some water. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Try it with a, a bucket to start. Right. How do I get the water to there? It must be like this, mustn't it? How do I get this with water in it? Okay, what I'm going to do is turn this off because I don't want to waste the fuel. <laughs> I don't need the, I don't need it blowing up after all that effort. So I've got to fill this up with some water. Obviously, this is an input for coal, I guess. And uh, there must be a way to put some water tank. Hmm. Let's have a look at this one. Let's just have a look. I've got a lot of st stuff on here I don't really want. So we've got things like pollution of the realm I was looking at, um, geolysis and redstone. Well, I don't really need those in the moment. Let's have a look at uh, tanks. So it does have a tank, a small tank, which is made from glass 
and an iron grate. Okay, we can do that. I just need some sand. I've probably got some sand. I used a lot of sand up um, earlier on making some more. Uh, I've only got one piece of sand. I'll tell you what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to dig up this sand here. Actually, I can do that. I'm not bothered about digging up the sand here. What we were putting in its place some dirt, I guess. Oh dear, my inventory is completely full. Tell you what, I'll come back in a second. And when I've got everything prepared. So I don't want to do that come for now. Bye for that. See right, you. I'm back. I think I've got everything we need for the tank. Let's make this small tank here. And I think I've also got enough I need for some pipes. No, I'm not sure about pipes. I'm not it's got different types. It's got iron pipes. We'll make some of these if we've got oh, just one more piece of glass. I've got that prepared as it happens which was means i can actually count for a change which is unusual so i'll do, make those iron pipes like that it makes 12. and the other one we can make are these heat insulated pipes what we're missing here nothing we can do that i made too many copper plates never mind and that makes five and these are insulated high pipes so that's presumably getting the steam across but i'm not sure I'll have to do some more research, but I have a better look. We can actually put the tank down there and put some water into it. Let's just see if this works. Got a bucket of water here. Can I right click it? I can. Does that fill that up with liquid? No. Hmm. Do I need to put a pipe between these two? Let's just see if that works. I guess it's a pickaxe. I'll pick it up. So we've got some iron pipes prepared and I've got too much inventory stuff as usual. I really need to <laughs> move some of the stuff out of the way. I'll just do that because you get to a point where you just can't work. So I think I've got redstone. Put the redstone away. I've got lapis. We can put that away. That's good too. Um, get that a quick sort. It's basically full. Can bring it. I can get rid of one. Can bring it plates I can't get rid of. I don't think there's anything I can get rid of in here. Let's just scroll across. That might do for now. So what happens? How am I going to get... We got. We can get water into the tank by filling it with a bucket. That's good. So iron pipes, I guess, that will connect. Now, let's just put one down. Oh yeah, that's definitely connecting. So if we now put the tank on top of this should have some water in this tank still does it connect oh it doesn't it's lost the water all the water's gone into here no empty empty let's just try that again no that is not going in i probably either probably have to do something like a redstone signal let's try that I didn't see anything that I haven't looked through the book completely. Let's just take one. <laughs> what am I doing? I'll get one stone out of here. Oh, one stick out of here. I mean. Can't do it that way. Okay. Let's make a quick lever and see if that works. If not, I will come back, do some research, uh, see if we can get it to work next time. I don't think. Nope, still empty. Maybe I have to put it on the pipe or it's near to the pipe. Let's try that. And that's still. <laughs> well, can I actually put it on the on the pipe itself? Doesn't seem sorry. Doesn't seem to work. Oh, I can't right click that. Oh, no, it's still empty. Okay, maybe it has a pump in this in the pack. Let's have a look for pump. It, ah, it's a pump jack. It's a blueprint, so I have to use a bucket and a piece of paper. Well, I'll do. I'll save that for next time. I think because that's obviously another biggish machine. Uh, I'm not going to do too much between episodes. Um, 
a little bit. I'll have a look at the barrel that you'll see on my mini map here in a short while because that was only one symbol. So until next time, bye for now.